Hey guys, we have a really quick one for you today. We'll go over the current normalized flux graph of Tabby Star for today, July 23rd, and we will calculate today's current flux level of the long-term accelerated dimming curve for today and show you exactly where that level occurs on the graph. We will also superimpose the long-term accelerated dimming curve on the flux graph to serve as the reference nominal flux demarcation. So this is today's flux graph in the R band, and these are the three new data points measured since our last update. These are namely the data points for July 22nd and 23rd. Now we will show you where the current long-term accelerating dimming level is located. So here is our equation for the long-term accelerating dimming curve. To calculate the current level of the long-term accelerating dimming, there are 79 days since our initial condition of May 6th, which converts to 2.59 months. So substituting this number in for the variable t and multiplying, you have this expression. And further calculating, uh, you have the current level of the long-term accelerating dimming at 0.9946 below the normalized nominal flux level of the graph. So let's locate the position of this calculated flux level. So at the very tip of the red arrow is the current position on the graph that denotes the long-term accelerated dimming level for July 23rd. Notice that we are pretty much right on the level of the last three measurements. So everything is checking out so far. So inserting the curve of the long-term accelerated dimming of Tabby Star, we have the following blue line that represents the long-term accelerated dimming curve and the reference nominal flux line. So you can see that Tabby Star is really at the nominal flux level. We are not in a short-term dimming event. This persisting depression below the stagnant nominal flux line is an artifact of the long-term accelerating dimming of Tabby Star. As a matter of fact, if you look closely just at the data points across these 79 days, you can actually see the long-term accelerated dimming curve with the naked eye. But anyway, we will leave it up to you guys to draw your own conclusions. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Uh, we'll see you in our next video.